U.S. President Donald Trump's assessment of the COVID-19 outbreak is warmly optimistic. The coronavirus is highly contagious, just as Trump's press conference ended. South Korea reported more than 300 new cases. One patient could possibly infect a dozen or more other people. It will be in about two weeks before we know what the actual situation is at this very moment. So where does the U.S. president have the leeway to stress that risk is very low? The U.S. closed borders to Chinese arrivals before any other country. But has it cut off flights from allies like Japan, South Korea and Italy simultaneously? It's impossible to prevent cases from entering the U.S. The way President Trump de-emphasized the epidemic to rally the U.S. stock market is no different than how Wuhan officials initially downplayed the epidemic. The U.S. should be contributing more leadership to the world's fight against this epidemic. As of Tuesday, the number of new cases outside of China has already exceeded new cases within China. This means that the main battlefield in the war against COVID-19 have now moved outside China's borders and Washington has clearly not kept up with the rapid changes.